excited to show you how I make a square wreath for my home and hopefully you can use this technique to either make a similar type of wreath or really any shape or any design involving wintry greens this uh, holiday season. So the first thing I do is gather up my greenery and break it down into small pieces. So I have a huge variety here of um, cedar and fir and all sorts of great greens and all I did was just take each piece and break it down so I'm cutting off the lateral pieces here so I've got loads and loads of, of little bits that I can wire to my frame. Now you can buy greens like this either at the supermarket or stop by your Christmas tree lot and ask for um, the leftover boughs. They'll often give them to you for free and you can use those um, to break down and prepare for your wreath. So I like to make a square wreath. Now it's a little different from the traditional round one, but um, here's the frame that I've created and let me show you how I did that. I took large branches of birch and just cut it, cut them down into smaller pieces. So this would be one part of my square. I did the same with other ones and then used my wire from my kit to wire the ends together, making a nice square wreath frame. Then what I'm going to do is cut some smaller pieces of wire here pick up my greens. I've got cedar here flying over the edge. I might get hmm, one little bit of my Douglas fir in there. I think it's nice to have a variety of greenery, but um, you can also use just one type. It's really uh, all about what you like and what you have access to. Anything will work. Okay, I am taking my wire and wiring in between the smaller little lateral pieces so that you don't see too much of um, that wire right there. And then I may even stop all my greens, and my frame is so light it's gonna just lean up against me. I'm gonna grab my wire and lasso up a pine cone. That's what I've decided to, to call this because I just take a little bit of wire here, take my cone, bind around it, and then I'm able to get it right onto my frame here, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Now, I can continue to um, wire the greens all around the, the wreath frame, or just do one little piece. You know, the white uh, birch looks so pretty on its own that Something as simple as this could be nice. I also can take um, a piece of glittery branch here and wire it in as well. So, you know, the ornaments and the things that you have at home, use your wire, attach them to your wreath and just personalize it that way and you don't have to buy something brand new. But all I would do here is just take some of my wire and wind it in. You could even change up the look of, of your wreath over time, okay? But um, there's all sorts of options. I, again, like the square wreath. If you wanted to make a round wreath, um, you could either buy a round wreath frame or take branches and just wind them in that fashion. Or just start by picking up your bits of greenery in your hand and wiring them to each other all right, and you can keep going and going on this and then curl it in your hands to make a round wreath. And it's, it's, it's pretty cool when that works and um, it's something that just takes a little bit of time but it's easier than you think. So I hope you enjoy this and please send pictures if you do end up making wreaths or any sort of decor using greens in your house. I would love to see them as they always inspire me. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays.